Inna lillah wa inna ilaihi raji'un. Dr. Basam. Inna lillah wa inna ilaihi raji'un. Well, I, I don't know how to express, but we happen to be sitting in the cabinet and uh, the entire cabinet members were shocked at this madness of the Israeli Zionist regime going after people in their bedrooms and uh, torturing people and thinking that they can end this war and aggression in this manner. I understand you and the brothers and Ismail Haniya is a great Mujahid and a brother. Jazakumullah khairan, Jazakumullah khairan. First of all, Jazakumullah khairan, Akhi Dr. Anwar, and Barakallahu feekum for this contacting us and calling us. Yes, we are still really shocked. This loss, Brother Ismail Hani, is a very, very big loss, not only for the Palestinian people, but for the whole Ummah and for all free people. You are talking about, I know him now for decades, you are talking about a very, very dignified man uh, who uh, sacrificed whole, his whole life for the sake of Allah, for the sake of his own. And I think the most important thing is to continue on the on the path of Brother Ismail Haniya until we, the Palestinian people, get and achieve their big national goals of freedom and dignity and independence and ending this barbaric uh, behaviors, not only against Palestinians. They have crossed all the lines in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, in Iran, everywhere. This is a message for any, uh, for all Muslims and for all Arabs that uh, uh, he is a target if he is standing up to fight and to struggle for freedom and dignity. And therefore we have to be united on the path, on the way of Brother Ismail Haniya to reach this goal.